How's it going guys? Today we're going to talk about the UI name. So for this example, let's just find the Soviet barracks real quick here. We're going to take the Soviet barracks and uh, put it in our map here. And uh, let's say I don't like the name Soviet barracks, right? Let's say I want to call it something else. So there's two things here. There's the name. This is what it's going to be called in Final Alert. It's uh, for official purposes. And then there's the UI name, the user interface name. That's in game. What is it called? Like in the sidebar when you want to click it or uh, when you hover your mouse over it. So let's just take this uh, UI name and call it uh, Troop Structure. Just for fun. And see what happens when I do that. So let's save the map real quick. And now if I launch a game real quick, let's just uh, go ahead and do that. Uh, Should have sped it up. We'll wait a small second here. And there, if I hover my mouse over the icon here, it says missing troop structure. And uh, if I build this as well, and hover my mouse over it, as you can see it says missing troop structure. So we did alter the name, but we have this big missing in front of it. Is there anything we can do about that? So the answer is yes and no. There's a list of acceptable strings that won't have the missing in front of it. So you have to decide. Either you gotta pick out of that list, and then you don't have the missing, or you want to completely customize it and then you'll be stuck with the missing. Where is this list located? Let's have a look. Right. So in order to find this list, what I'm going to do is gonna, I'm going to open XCC Mixer. In the Red Alert 2 folder, right where everything is, you should have something called language.mix. Let's see if we could find it. There we go. Language.mix. I'm going to go into this. In here, there's ra2.csf. What I'm going to do is I'm going to extract this, put it wherever you want in, uh, you know, in uh, whatever folder you find it comfortable in. Uh, I'll just put it in the ra2 folder. And then what I want to do is go to launch and XCC string table editor, open that up, go to the red alert 2 folder and find the ra2.csf. If I open this up, it's going to give me all the options of all the accepted text values. So let's say I go to name here and I look around and I say, you know what's a good uh, a good name for what I'm looking for? Maybe it's let's see if there's anything interesting here. Um you know, maybe I want uh uh Fine, we'll call it a gas pump. I saw you a second ago, right? Maybe I want to call it gas pump for some reason. So I go here, I copy this in the top. And then if I go back to my map, here in the UI name, I paste this text, right? So name double uh, and city 20. If I save this, go back to the client, load the map back in. And uh, now we'll launch it again. You'll see that the barracks now is called gas pump without the missing beforehand. So at least it's clean without the missing, but I'm limited to what's on that list. I hope you guys had fun, and I'll catch you guys next time.